We're down now, halfway down the village between Chopwell and uh, Blackhall Mill uh, at Bolton's Bungalows. Now I'd mentioned beforehand that my grandfather was called Harry Bolton and uh, when I mentioned the lockout of the Chopwell miners in 25-26 I did mention that he alongside a man called Will Lawther led the Chopwell miners during the, the lockout or some people refer to it the strike and um, he was the miners uh, representative he was a secretary of the miners union he was also a councillor he was also a justice of the peace he was chairman of the uh, the bladen bench in other words if you did anything wrong he would either send you to prison or fine you and he was important in the miners union he was also a county councillor in durham because this village at one time was in County Durham. And uh, he originally came from a place called Fence Houses. He was one of 16, and my great-grandmother, his mother, said, of all the family that I've ever had, my son Harry is disappointed with his lot. He wants to improve matters, and that, in fact, is what he did. Um, he, he was the leader of the Independent Labour Party for a long time. He attended government meetings, um, one in particular called the Sankey Commission in 1920 to nationalise the mines because the mines were in a mess. The miners were in a mess and it was believed that the government could improve matters. But the Prime Minister of the day, Lloyd George, said no, they... Uh, the mines must be must be privately owned and that that caused no end of trouble now he was a good friend of a man called well the man who founded the labor party keir hardy keir hardy was a scotsman who settled in england and he became the first labor member of parliament my grandfather worked extremely hard whenever a new member of parliament was elected and uh, it can be a very dangerous job. It was a dangerous job in those days being a Labour man. And especially during the period of the lockout. Because he was considered a lawbreaker. And he and his friend Will Lawber actually did, uh, I think it was two months in prison. Uh, now it's, um, it's things like this when you, get, when you become an old man. You ask yourself why people do this and they do it because they think a lot of their fellow man. They want to raise standards, allow children such as yourselves to get good jobs and uh, there aren't many people like him. He is one person who has influenced me more than anybody. My parents my professors at university, my colleagues in teaching, he is the man that I venerate above all.